If I don't win a national championship with New Mexico in five seasons, I'm going to get tased. They are the worst team in NCAA football 23, coming in with a 63 overall offense and a 68 overall defense. It's going to be very hard to take them to the top, but I don't want to get tased. Here we go. <laughs> That was not a good start. Not a good start at all. This is going to be a long first season. We went out and we also lost to Western Kentucky. We are 0-3 to start the season. Here against UNLV, we are actually only down 14. There's a chance we could win this game. Not a good chance. They're starting to pull away. And that is unfortunate, boys. We just lost to Army. We might not win a game. With all the recruits visiting... That was a huge win at home against Utah State. That's a great win for the season. We're now 2-5. and five. We went out, we went to San Diego State, and we lost by 35. We ended up losing 41-7. to seven. Wow. We got destroyed by Colorado State. We ended up losing to Boise State in our last game of the season. We were the 77th best recruiting class. I find that very hard to believe. I thought I did a very good job. We are starting our season off at home against FCS Southeast. Last year, we got completely railed by an FCS school. This year, it looks like we're doing a lot better. We're up 24 to zero. I think this is the year that we're gonna have a good season. We have a new quarterback, Denzel Valentine, and he seems to be playing very well. Our game against Alabama should be a blowout. We probably won't win. They went ahead, scored on the first drive. As you all can see, there's a dumb dinosaur on the screen. I don't know if that's making the video. In the end, it was 41-7. to We did not end up coming out on top. And, of course, we weren't going to beat number one Alabama. We're going to hopefully beat UTEP at home. They are seven overalls better. I don't want to see these stupid dinosaurs. Who? Oh, no. The dinosaur's throwing me off, man. Pick it, pick it. That's game. We're going to 2-1, and one, boys. Everybody that said over two wins in the Twitch chat, y'all are going to get your rewards very shortly. What do you mean by that? We took a 7-0 lead early at South Alabama. We couldn't score on the next drive. I was hoping we could, but we're going to see if we can win this game. Here on third and 10, we need to get one more stop. The read option got us, and we're going to lose to South Alabama. It's not looking good. 17-7, we need to score a touchdown. Yeah, we're out of it. Here in the third quarter at Colorado State, we're up one possession. Our offense has not been scoring at a high rate, but at least we're in these games. We're playing better than we did last year. In the end, we're not going to win this one either. It's not looking good against Boise State. We are on a bad run right now. We need to bounce back against somebody. This is honestly embarrassing, boys. This is a huge loss. We have a lot of people we have a lead on that we just need to get commit to the program. And Pat Riley and Andrew Cooper, both JUCOs, have already committed. In week 11, we're no longer bowl eligible. We just lost to Air Force. Can we win at Utah State? Nope, we lose by one. It looks like we're finally going to win a game. I think we've pulled away. It's safe to call it. Denzel Valentine gets the job done. Since we're already not bowl eligible, we're three and eight on the year. I'm just gonna sim to the end of the season. Three and nine in year number two. My job security is starting to slip. W's in the chat, boys. Look at that recruiting class ranking. Our year number two recruiting class comes in at number 20. We're definitely moving up in the world. All right. Let's start the year with a win at FCS West. We ended up winning that game by a ton. We are taking on Old Dominion. Here in the fourth quarter against Old Dominion, it's a tie game, and we have a minute to go like 97 yards down the field and beat Old Dominion. Never mind. We are going to lose on a safety. A stop is needed, and we don't get it. We end up losing back-to-back -back games. That's not good, boys. That's not good. Coastal Carolina is 0-4. They did take an early lead on us, but we tied it back up. If we're going to turn our season around, we need to win this game. We've had two tough losses. Year number three is not not looking any better than the first two years. It's 31 to 7. I can't, I don't know what to do, boys. It's 10 to 7 here in the second quarter at Nevada, now 17 to 7. I think we can actually win this game. We can hopefully turn our season around from this point. 24 to 7. I'm not worried. We choked, boys. It is now 21 24. Here on fourth and two to win the game. We don't get it. Unfortunately, Nevada is going to tie up the game, but they missed it. It's off the post. We're getting our second win of the season, boys. Here at San Jose State, I'm not expecting us to win. They are a much better team and they're hosting us, but I wasn't expecting us to go scoreless against them. We finally got into the end zone, but it's still a 17-point game and we're going to lose. We're at home against Air Force. Hopefully we can get a win. If we are going to make a bowl game, this is a must-win game. We have a ton of recruits visiting, so this game is very important to how the rest of our dynasty goes. And that game does come down to the last play, but first, I have to tell you how you can make up to a free hundred dollars watching sports. Underdog Fantasy has believed in me from the start, and I'm excited to announce that you can simply double your money by depositing in the app. They allow you to place pickums on if you think a player will go higher or lower based on a certain stat, and you can win money if you're right. I think it's super entertaining and it adds to the game day experience, but anyway, if you 
you put in $10, you get 20. If you put in 25, you get 50. They're doubling your first deposit up to $100 and all you have to do is use my code Bordeaux. There'll also be a link in the description you can use and good luck boys. Here on 4th and 13, we need to pick it up. And that's an interception. We're gonna go two and five. It is not looking good for us in year number three. The following week, we finally got a win against Wyoming, against Colorado State. We really need a win and we're able to get it. We are now four and five on the year. We can still make a bowl game. Here in the fourth quarter, we are down 10 against Boise State and it is now a three point game. On third and 10, we're gonna get into the end zone here. There we go. In the end, we were able to go out and beat Boise State. If we beat Utah State, we're going to be bowl eligible. We are bowl eligible. And now we're going to just sim to the bowl game. We ended up beating Hawaii, so we're 7-5 and five on the year. How are we playing 5-7 and seven Nevada in the conference championship? We could, we could have a touchdown here. Do you all think Rampage is faster? I'm going to throw it up. I'm throwing it up here. Is Rampage faster? He is. Look at him go. We might actually win the conference championship in year three. Our defense got the stop and we won the Mountain West Conference Championship. And we have a tough bowl matchup. We're going to be playing against Utah. We're definitely not expected to beat Utah here. Their 20 overall is better than us. They're a 97 overall team. But surprisingly in the second quarter, we are winning 3-0. to zero, And now we're winning 10-0. to zero. What is going on? Are we going to upset Utah in our bowl game? I hope I didn't speak too soon. Here in the third quarter, we're still up seven. Utah ties the game up, and now they're going to go down and take a seven-point lead. We're starting to blow it. Unfortunately, we couldn't end up beating Utah. Everyone's super sad about it. We finished our year number three season with the number seven recruiting class. We are moving up in the world. We got our first five-star. In week one, we're playing an FCS school. We're at home. We ended up winning by 17. That's a good start to the year. The following week, we had Wyoming at home. And we ended up winning. No, we didn't. That's unfortunate. Game three at Coastal. It ended up going good for us. We're going to be two and one on the year. We absolutely annihilated Eastern Michigan. And then the following week, we hosted North Texas. And we ended up winning by two points. We ended up beating Air Force in week seven. Against San Jose State, we hosted them. And we ended up winning by 10. We are six and one on the year now. We're already bowl eligible. Against Hawaii, we traveled there. We got another win. We're seven and one. But then we had a bad game and we ended up losing at Nevada. And the following week against Utah State, we lost again. We're not making the conference championship. We have to win this game against Boise State if we want any chance at the conference championship. And we ended up doing that. We're now eight and three on the year. Colorado State's had a very good season and we're gonna hopefully win at their place and we get creamed absolutely railed. We ended up getting Minnesota in the guaranteed rate bowl. This is a winnable game. Minnesota ended up starting the game going up 7-0 early, but I'm hoping we can respond back. I don't want to lose another bowl game. I just want to at least win a bowl game with New Mexico. We're now within one possession, but they keep scoring. It's going to be hard to beat a Big Ten team. It's not looking good, boys. Here in the fourth quarter, we're now down 25, and you all know we're not going to win the bowl game, so it's unfortunate. Back-to-back -back eight win years. This is my last season. If I don't win a national championship, I'm going to have to get tased. <laughs> Our first game of the season was against FCS Midwest. We started out up 7-0 early. I'm hoping we can easily win this game, right? Should be an easy win. We honestly aren't dominating them as much as I thought we would. Only 24-3 in the fourth quarter, 31-3 now. Now we're starting to pull away. It's a good first win. We ended up beating our other FCS opponents in week two. Here in the second quarter, we were up 21-0 early on Western Michigan. I think we're going to pick up our third win of the year. This is a blowout, man. We're doing better against them than we did against FCS schools. I felt like we were actually going to get the win, and we were able to do so. We're 4-0. Scott Frost is getting it done. But all of a sudden in the fourth quarter, it was a close game. We won. We're good. We're good. We are actually struggling against UNLV. They're 1-5. We aren't winning, but all of a sudden, I look down. It went from 14 to 3 to 18 to 14 now. I don't know how we flipped the game around, but we're going to end up going 6 and 0 on the year. Here on the final play of the game, hopefully we're just going to end it and that's it. 17 all here in the third quarter now. I think we can come out on top, but it was definitely a slow start. We can't keep playing with fire or we're not going to go undefeated. Here on second and goal, we're going to get into the end zone. Here on fourth and two, we're hoping to get a stop. Come on. We have got to shoot this gap in the game right here. It looks like it's a screen. We get the sack. That's it. We're going to kick the game-winning field goal here, and we're going to beat Boise State. And fortunately, here in the third quarter, we are up two possessions. We're actually playing well this week, and now being up 17, I'm pretty confident that we're going to come out on top. This field goal would end up putting the game within one possession, but it's going to be short. Time is winding out. We're going to need to get an onside kick here. All right, boys, we need the two-point conversion here. Everything's in a box. That's it. That's game. I can't believe our star quarterback got hurt and our backup quarterback couldn't get the job done. Yep, that's it. We made the conference championship like I expected. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to get tased. We fell out of the top 10 with that one loss. We're all the way down to 13. 
and there's no way we're climbing all the way back up there. So I'm gonna tase myself, but we're gonna do it over here on Twitch. All right, turn this thing on. Why didn't it go? That's terrifying. Oh, oh.